So a lot of people don't know this, but most cocktails from Prohibition kind of suck. And you're not going to find them in modern cocktail books or on bar menus. They just have not stuck around at all. But today's cocktail is a massive exception to that rule. It is delicious, it is balanced, and it is still popular to this day. As a matter of fact, it's actually part of the inspiration behind the naming of one of the most important bars in the modern craft cocktail revolution, Sasha Petrosky's Milk and Honey Bar in New York City. And if you're wondering, how did one little drink raise its head above this pantheon of crappy cocktailery and managed to last for almost a hundred years and be this influential and still maintain its popularity. I got nothing for you except to say it's the bee's knees bro. It's the bee's knees. So, like I said, the Bee's Knees is a true Prohibition era cocktail, and there have been countless printings of the recipe. Today, I'll be following the one found in Regarding Cocktails by Sasha Petrosky. Starting with a mixing tin, I need three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup, one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and two ounces of London dry gin. Then I'll add ice to the shaker, and this is one of the few cocktails that Sasha actually made on camera before he died, and he says to use a single large cube to help froth the cocktail, so I'll do that here. Except that's way too big, there's no way that's going to even move inside the tin. But after prying it back out, and giving it a few good whacks with a bar spoon, that should work just fine. Now, normally this would be served in a classic cocktail coupe, but personally, I like to use this miniature little brandy snifter. And after straining, there's no need for a garnish. Serve it as is. Simple and elegant. All right, so my favorite part of the video. Let's give this a taste. So it tastes like honey, lemon, and gin. It is delicious, it is refreshing, it is sweet, it is tart, and it has this like mouth-watering quality to it that just, it, it makes you salivate. It makes you want to take another drink. Almost like a salty-esque quality to it. Of course, I didn't add salt to it, that'd be weird. I think I prefer it with uh, Bee Feeder or Tangray, but um, the Bombay is pretty good as well. The quality of the honey that you're using is really going to change this drink. If you were to use a strong like wildflower honey or orange blossom honey, you know, it's going to really um, brighten up the character of this drink and add a whole lot of floral qualities to it. I would highly, highly recommend that you give this a try. If you liked the video, hit the button. If you didn't like the video, hit the other button and let me know why in the comments down below. My name is Luke. This has been the homemade edition and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.